I'm going to talk a little bit about hand washing my clothes. So as you can see here, I brought over my bottles from England, the Ecova bottles, and I noticed that in Biocop you can take your bottles along and refill them. So that's what I'm going to do when my um, laundry liquid runs out. Uh, so I'll just go over the process of how I do it. So um, this pile here, the largest pile, is mine and Heidi's knickers and socks. So I do that first. Um, and by then the water's not as clean anymore so I did my tea towels because they don't need to be spanking white and gorgeous um, so I squish them around in the soapy water then I put in a new load of um, soapy water and I did my whiter pieces first and then slightly less white and then darker um, colours and um, my water takes quite a while to get hot from the boiler um, at the other end of the house so while the tap was running um, to get hot again I did a few hankies and then after this lot the water was still clean and soapy and warm enough um, so I did my lovely jumper which is um, <clears throat> wool and cotton uh, so I had to be careful not to squidge it around too much because then the wool would turn to felt and I would not want that. Uh, so now I'm going in for the rinse with colder water. And that's partly why I don't mind if the water wasn't so clean with these ones because they all go in fresh water again anyway, so it's okay. And um, I started at ten past two and I did time myself. It took me eleven to twelve minutes to do the wash and uh, the rinse takes me less, less time because I know everything's clean I just squidge it all about a bit, uh, wring it and then um, take it out to the line so here we go so I, I tried a new technique, I decided to rinse all of that but not wring it just for speed, see how quick it would take me um, and then these I did afterwards, my tea towels and my hankies and I did wring all those out so they're much drier and then my um, jumper, I'm going in for uh, a primary rinse you might want to call it and then I'll do a secondary rinse with cleaner water just because jumpers tend to hold a lot more soap so it gets out a bit more soap before the final rinse so rinsing and wringing took seven minutes and it wouldn't have taken quite so long if I didn't have my slightly more delicate uh, jumper which takes a bit more time to wring carefully um, yeah, so that's 10 plus 7. 17 minutes, not bad, eh? And the water that's left in the bottom um, is, you know, can be used to do some washing up afterwards. Why not? Bit of soaking, bit of washing, it's not dirty or anything. Look who's joined me to hang out the washing with their bells on. I haven't seen those for days. They've been on different fields. They've come back again. So time to hang it all out on these lines between the cherry trees. So my double line hanging there. My lovely tree hanging spot for my basket. So it doesn't get a damp bottom. And another little line there. So it's quite a bit of washing. And I realised when I was hanging it out that I haven't picked enough walnuts. We had a huge gust of wind um, two days ago now, so I'm a bit late now for picking them because they might be already going a bit mouldy. So I'll have a look and see because uh, it'd be a shame to waste those. So at the moment I've got one little job, one hour a week, teaching yoga to kids. So hand washing my clothes is uh, pretty easy to fit into my week and it's something that I actually really enjoy doing. Um, I think one of the things I like is getting my hands warm and wet. It feels like a bit of, um, I don't know, therapeutic cleansing, um, squishing around with all the fabric and it's all soft and lovely. Um, so I quite like that. Maybe it's because I'm a Pisces or something. <laughs> Um, we don't have a washing machine at the moment and um, 
We're not planning on getting one. I think Robin would really like one. He hasn't done his hand washing yet and we've been in this house for quite a while now. He keeps uh, meaning to go to the ones that are outside the Antimarche and uh, do them in the washing machines there. I think you can pay four euros for the smaller one and six euros for the bigger one, something like that. Uh, I just think, well, it didn't take me very long. Let's just do it by hand, bit by bit. And actually I'm more up to date with my washing doing it by hand than I am when I, when I had a washing machine. I used to wait for a big load and then put it in and sometimes I'd have to do two loads or three loads one after the other at the weekend. Um, didn't particularly enjoy the process. Um, <laughs> um, whereas here it's a different matter. Different kettle of fish altogether. I think it kind of makes you more aware of your surroundings and the weather the climate, um, obviously I kind of waited a bit until a good day came, until the sun came out and I probably should have hung them out and done this a lot sooner to have more sunlight because at the moment, middle of November, it goes dark around, what is it, 6.37 or something at the moment, uh, maybe a bit earlier actually, uh, so they, uh, they won't have a huge amount of sun on them. But we'll see, we'll see how dry they get and um, <clears throat> um, if they're not totally dry tonight I've got a standing um, washing line that I can hang next to the wood burning stove and the heat from that hopefully.